I think the first piece of advice that I want to share is until you submit the application, until you press that final button, act like you definitely have a chance of getting in because positivity can go a really long way because subconsciously, if you don't feel like you're gonna get in, you're not gonna put in as much effort as you would if you thought you had a real chance. As soon as you click that last button, as soon as it's submitted, go ahead and think you're not gonna get in. Don't get your hopes too high, sure. But until you press that last button, do not think that way. NYU. I officially have my acceptance packet now, so that's really exciting. And I applied to NYU through the Gallatin School of Individualized Study where I will be creating my own major. My plan is to focus on creative writing, psychology, and computer science. First thing I want to go over is my scores, and they were not the best. My SAT score was a 1420 and I actually had to take it a few times. In fact, the last time I took it was not my best score, it was the second to last. I got a 730 in writing, which was in the 99th percentile, and I got a 690 in math. Not that great in the math, but that's not the department I was going in, so that was fine for me. Editing me here. Hello. I realized that I forgot to say what I got on my AP tests, as well as saying anything about SAT subject tests. So I didn't take any SAT subject tests, and on my AP Computer Science Principles course, I got a five on the AP exam, and on my AP English Literature and Composition course, I got a four on the exam. My GPA, on the other hand, was on the lower end. I had a 3.22 unweighted and a 3.55 weighted, so that's not the best. And if you look at my transcript, which I'll have on the screen right now, I took two AP courses my junior year and I'm currently taking three my senior year. I am taking AP Computer Science A, AP Psychology, and AP Language, which are the three areas that I'm planning to study in university. So the next thing I want to go over is my essays. So I have three different essays for NYU. The first one is the Why NYU essay, and then I have the Common App personal essay, which goes to every school, and then I have the additional information section of the Common App, where I explain why my grades may not be the best. So the first thing I'm going to read is my personal essay that goes to every school. In this, I talked a lot about how I have a lot of varied interests. By the way, all of my essays will be linked down below if you want to take a look at them if you're applying and you want some examples. Jack of all trades, master of none. A common phrase to be heard, but most people don't know the full quote. Jack of all trades, master of none is oftentimes better than master of one. I embody this quote because, while I cannot display a single passion that I am incredibly skilled at, I can show skill in many different fields because my interests constantly explode in different directions. Some things I stick with, others are just temporary, but in all of them I infuse my excitement. From dreaming up 20 novel plots a day to exploring how to code on Unity, I fill my time doing the things I love and building skills that will help me no matter what I choose to do in life. As of now, my three main academic interests are creative writing, computer science, and psychology. I would like to double major or take a combined major in two of them and minor in the third. At the same time, I want to take a multitude of classes in other subjects that I enjoy, like photography, acting, media, fashion design, hospitality, martial arts, entrepreneurship, and finance. That list doesn't even begin to show the extent of my curiosity. I can't describe the excitement that flows through me when I think of picking my courses for my freshman year. I often hear that I need to be careful because I'll end up spending all my time studying, but honestly, that's okay with me. Recreation is important, but learning new skills is recreational to me. Just because I'm getting a grade doesn't mean I'm not having fun. Talking with experienced professors and learning from them brings a sparkle to my eye. When it's in a class I enjoy, I look forward to my homework. For some people, a hobby and turning into schoolwork would be their worst nightmare, but I don't see it that way. I see it as a way to grow in a field I enjoy. Some things I love I'm awful at, but that doesn't stop me from trying and enjoying it. Drawing relaxes me, and I adore creating my own original characters, even though you would think a third grader drew them. That said, there are plenty of things I am good at. I recently took up photography and editing pictures in Photoshop and Lightroom. It is so much fun, and I'm talented at it. From color correction to removing people from the backgrounds, I constantly impress people with my work. One of my favorite photos is a picture I took in the middle of the day, but then added a starry sky to it and transformed it into a fantastical night. 
Another is a small flower that I made glow with a mystical magenta light as if it belonged in a fairy's forest. I have a shine that gets brighter with every new thing I learn. I'm nosy and constantly curious. Nothing can fill that appetite. I am who I am because of the effort I put into everything I love and because I love almost everything. Jack of all trades, master of none, is oftentimes better than master of one. So as you can see, I explored a lot of different things in that essay, things that I do, things that I don't do. And I admitted I'm not perfect, I'm not trying to exaggerate, I know I'm bad at some things, but I still enjoy doing them. I included that link, which I believe goes to my photography Instagram. And in all of my essays that I'm going to share with you today, there are probably some typos and some small mistakes. And that's because I went over and proofread everything again inside the Common App before I submitted it so I don't have those changes saved. So the next essay I'm going to talk about is my YNYU essay. YNYU, what about the school makes it special to me and makes me want to apply? Well, for starters, the inability to clearly distinguish where the city ends and the campus begins. The way the school is truly stitched into its surroundings is both unique and magnificent. When I went to visit NYU and took a campus tour, I felt right there. It was someplace I knew I would be able to quickly call home for my college years. Secondly, there's the Gallatin School of Individualized Study. I have a vast variety of interests and building my own major would be a dream come true. Many schools have that option, but the fact that NYU has an entire college dedicated to it shows how much value the school places in making sure what they teach is right for their students. Most places the option is available but discouraged. At NYU, it's accepted and encouraged. After a campus tour, I talked with a student who was working at the information desk who was attending Gallatin. He told me about a trip he went on with others from the school where they did a lot of hands-on work that didn't have to do with his major. I love hands-on opportunities and the fact that the school was tied together in such a way that there was that type of trip, despite the students not necessarily having commonalities within their disciplines, shows how easy it is to both be an individual and a part of a group at NYU. When it comes to my interests in other locations, I grew up abroad in Indonesia and Brazil, only moving to the USA for high school. I think of myself as a global citizen and would be ecstatic to continue my life in other areas of the world. While New York is my first choice, if I go to school there, I would definitely take the opportunities NYU offers for other global opportunities, including studying abroad for a semester. Both the atmosphere of the school and the personalities of the people I interacted with there make me feel like I would really fit in. I believe, beyond a doubt, that NYU is the school for me. And so there, I not only talked about NYU, but I also talked about Gallatin, which is the specific school that I was going to. And since I did go to visit campus, I took what I learned there and I put that in, which shows that I still remember the things from there, that I have an active interest in the school. Obviously, the fact that I applied early decision also shows that. But yeah, I know one thing that's a really good idea is when you go on campus tours is to take notes and stuff of everything you hear. I didn't do that, but... It would have been helpful because I was trying to remember exactly what that person had said and I couldn't remember it 100% exactly so I had to be slightly vague. I would have liked to have more details on it. If I had taken notes, I would have. So um, take notes. And I also mentioned some things in my life and how NYU specifically ties back to me. And finally, I have the additional information essay. And this isn't a required essay, but because my GPA was not exactly on the higher side, <laughs> I decided to explain myself and why my GPA may not have been as good as I would hope. So I said, based on intelligence tests and past performance, my high school grades are not reflective of my true abilities due to difficulties explained in this essay. At the end of eighth grade, I was prepared to move. I excitedly looked up my new school in Bangladesh. I went into summer break intending on visiting my grandmother in New Orleans and having a fun holiday, but instead it became my new home. That summer there was a terrorist attack in Dhaka. After a time of indecision, my dad's company decided no families would be able to stay because safety could not be guaranteed. At this point there were only two weeks left for me and my family to find a new high school. My dad went to work and had to stay in a small apartment in a hidden building. For the duration of his time there, he could do no more than travel to and from the office in cars with armed security. He stayed away for a month working seven days a week so that every other month he could come see me and my mother in New Orleans. This lasted all of freshman year. This being the first time I was in the United States for an extended period, new health issues arose. Since I was two and a half years old, I have been a type 1 diabetic with a compromised immune system which means when I'm exposed to new germs in a new country, I have almost no immunity. I was constantly getting sick and almost always on antibiotics. Therefore, I missed a lot of school, almost the entire second semester. Still, I worked hard to maintain the best grades I could. 
Sophomore year, I was getting sick less, but still quite often. Additionally, my mother was diagnosed with breast cancer. By this time, my father was working in Houston and able to come home every other weekend instead of every other month. But that still left me and my mom alone most of the time. As she was going through chemo, radiation, and surgeries, it was my job to care for her at home. I helped with day-to-day -day things like meals and tending to her wounds. I took over some of her responsibilities as my mother. She was still there for me, but I had to learn how to take care of myself quickly, as before this, she was always there keeping me on task and doing all the chores. I had to learn time management and how to study on my own while also keeping up with my extracurriculars. While I know this is something many kids do on their own, prior to this I never had to and taking on these new responsibilities all at once was hard. Junior year my mom was still going through treatment, my dad was still in Houston and I was still getting sick often. Not much had changed. Senior year has just begun and I have already dealt with two deaths of people I cared about. The closest thing I had to a grandfather and a teacher I had grown to really care for. Even if this start to the year seems glum, I will keep pushing forward as I always have. Besides, there is light in every cloud of darkness. In this case, my mother is now on a mission. So in this essay, I just talked about some difficulties that were going on emotionally with me and at home because of the situation my father was in in Bangladesh. It was very stressful because you never knew when he could be attacked or something. Thankfully, nothing ever happened, but it wasn't exactly simple and it was scary at times. I talked about my mother's cancer and how I had to help a lot at home. So it just showed that my home life changed pretty drastically, pretty quickly. And then just the generalness of me getting sick all the time. Anyone who goes to my school could tell you that I'm barely ever there. So it wasn't the easiest thing to keep up my grades, but I did try really hard. My sickness did play a large part in why my grades weren't so good, and I made sure to highlight that with every year. Thankfully, when you're admitted, they cannot rescind your application unless they drop, so as long as my grades stay the same as they have been, I will be okay. Please don't let me fail high school. That would really be sad because I already got into NYU. So getting into your dream school and then failing high school so not and not being able to go would not be the best for me, yep. And now you can see all of the activities that I put on the Common App. So I filled out every slot and it's all true information. It's all accurate, I didn't make stuff up and I think that's really, really important. Do not lie, they can tell. Do you know how many of these applications they read? They can tell when you're lying about something. So just be completely honest in your essays, in your activity sheets, and everything. If you did a bunch of stuff but you didn't stick with it, put that stuff and show that you didn't stick with it. If you've only done one thing but you've done a lot in it, put that one thing and put everything that you've done in it because all of that matters a lot. So this is my activity sheet. As you can see, the only things I did at school were cheerleading and the school plays and the musical one year. Everything else I did on my own. I learned Photoshop and Unity on my own. I did a lot of creative writing on my own. None of that stuff I did through an organization or through school. My college counselor said that I should definitely include the ones I did at school and the other ones probably wouldn't help much, probably wouldn't matter. But I think specifically for the Gallatin School at NYU, I think it was really helpful that I had things that weren't through an organization or through school because one thing for the Gallatin School is if you're creating your own major so a lot of it is up to you and just NYU in general they have a tremendous amount of resources to help the students but it really is up to you to figure out where those resources are and how to utilize them so showing that I can take control of my learning and do so many activities without the help of a school or an organization I think that was really helpful to me obviously I can just guess because I don't actually know why they accepted me I just know that they did when it comes to my background both of my my parents are college graduates. My mom is a lawyer and my dad is an engineer and so they both did a lot of schooling to get to those places. By the time I enter college I will have lived in the US for a total of four years so I think my international background definitely helped me and I, I was born in Singapore for one so I wasn't actually born in the US although I was born a US citizen and I grew up in Indonesia if you consider growing up to be until fifth grade and then I moved to Brazil where I went to school for fifth grade through eighth grade and then I came to the US for high school. Uh, my ethnicity is, I mean, white. I'm, I'm very white. I'm a ghost. I'm that pale, so that's pretty obvious. Don't really need to state that. So that's my heritage, so I didn't really have anything particularly special in that department. I am a female and I am not a part of the LGBTQ plus community. I'm just trying to think of everything that is on the 
common app and everything that the college has, all the different information, because you never know what they use. One thing that I love about NYU is that it is one of, if not the most diverse university in the United States. So having people not just of different cultures and different ethnicities and different places, it's also just of different ideas. Part of that is because everyone's from completely different places. So that's one thing really cool about NYU is really showing your individuality in your essays and in the Common App and just anywhere you can. Show what makes you you, what makes you different from everyone else. If you left your essay on the ground somewhere and somebody who knows you like a family member or a close friend, if they picked up your essay and read it, they would know that it was your essay without your name on it because it speaks so much about you. They want who you are, not what you are. And I think that's incredibly important to consider when you're doing your applications. So that is how I believe I got into NYU. And I'm really excited to be attending there in the fall in the Gallatin School of Individualized Study. And hopefully this helped you when you're writing your essays or you're applying. I personally never watched any of these videos before I applied, but a really close friend of me who's one year younger is watching them constantly. So I know that they're really helpful to some people, which is why I wanted to share mine, especially since my grades and everything weren't that great. I wanted to show that that's not everything and you can still get in even if your grades aren't that great or your SAT score isn't that great. And just because one area of your life isn't the best doesn't mean you can't make it up in other areas. I'm not sitting here with a perfect 4.0 telling you how to get into college and telling you how to get in. If your grades and stuff aren't perfect, and some people's are, if your grades and stuff are perfect, Congratulations! I wish I was you, I guess. But if your dream school is NYU, you don't need to be perfect in every area to get in and I think that's really important to consider because I know I kept hearing that my grades weren't good enough and I didn't have a chance. I was told that I didn't have a chance and I talked to a lot of other people who are going to be going to Gallatin in the class of 2024. They were also told by their college counselors that they did not have a shot to get in and well, we all did. So. Just because somebody says that doesn't mean you actually don't have a chance. Write your application as if you do have a chance because you do. I mean, if you're getting all Fs, you probably don't. But you have a chance, especially if you can explain away your issues. And I think it's incredibly important to utilize that additional information section and fill it with any additional information that you think could help you. And one thing that's important in the essays is don't be afraid to brag. That is literally the entire point of these essays. That is what you are writing them for, is to show why you would fit in at the school, why they should accept you. You need to brag about yourself, and oh my god, is that the hardest thing ever to do. I cannot brag about myself. It was hard. It hurt me. I had to practice. It can be really hard to brag about yourself because you don't want to brag. You're not supposed to brag in society, but this is one place where you can brag. You want them to accept you. If you can do something well, say you can do it well. Don't be modest, don't be humble. It is not the time for that. But I think those are all the tips and tricks that I have. If you have any questions, put them in the comment section down below and I will try to answer them to the best of my ability or possibly link you to somewhere that could do it better. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hopefully Come back sometime, maybe. I'll definitely be putting more about my life in NYU in the future, like Welcome Week. I'm really excited for that, so I'm definitely gonna do a vlog of that. Everything you do, it sends me higher than the moon with every twinkle in your eye. You strike a match that lights my heart on fire. When you're near, I hide my blushing face and trip.